Hi students, as a part of conducting polymers, today I am going to explain uh, the very important concept that is how these conducting polymers are capable of conducting the electricity. The conductivity of conducting polymers is attributed to the presence of uh, the alternate double bonds in the conducting polymers. That is due to the presence of conjugation present inside the uh, the conducting polymers. Now, what do you mean by conjugation? Conjugation is nothing but uh, the presence of uh, alternate double bonds. Now, already we are well versed that uh, the double bond is a combination of one pi bond and another sigma bond. Now, among the pi bond and the sigma bond, the pi bond is flexible unlike the sigma bond. Sigma bond is rigid. Now, since pi bond is flexible, whatever the electrons which are associated with the, these pi bonds, as it is a pi, as it is a conducting polymer, comprises so many pi electrons. Now, these pi electrons will not be static whenever they are placed in the in the electric field. So, since these are not static, they will transfer from one uh, atom to another atom from one point to another point, from one target to another target. Now, during the, their uh, traveling or transferring from one atom to another atom, they will carry the charge along with them. Now, whenever within the substance, the charge carriers are carrying the charge, so definitely that particular substance will become capable of conducting the electricity. So, this is the theory behind uh, the conductance of uh, the conducting polymers. Now, in order to simplify the things, that is, in order to understand uh, how the conducting polymers are uh, basically capable of conducting the conducting polymers, I am going to consider one example, that is, how the polyacetylene, which is the conducting polymer, will conduct the electricity, that is, conductance of uh, the polyacetylene or conduction of polyacetylene. So, with the help of this uh, polyacetylene, with the help of this uh, conducting polymer, actually it is intrinsic conducting polymer. What is intrinsic conducting polymer? I have clearly explained in the classification of conducting polymers. Right. Now, coming to the structure of polyacetylene. Polyacetylene, just you need not to become panicked by seeing the structure of uh, the polyacetylene. Now, it is the conjugated molecules. It is the conjugated molecules. Now, what do you need to do, read, right? do is just uh, right, one, one crest trough, crest trough, crest trough, crest trough, crest trough. Now, it doesn't mean that only one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five crusts are present in the polyacetylene. One, two, three, four, five, five troughs are present in the polyacetylene. Because it is polyacetylene, it is a polymer, students. Since it is a polymer, n number of crusts and troughs are a part of this polyacetylene. n number. N number, N number, N number, N number. Now, in order to simplify the things, what I will do is I will give the numbering to these uh, carbon atoms because each carbon, that is each corner, is nothing but the carbon string because it is the organic molecule. Now, in the organic molecules, we are well versed that uh, each corner is uh, the carbon. So, accordingly, each corner is the carbon. So, this is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, sixth carbon, seventh carbon, eighth carbon, ninth carbon, tenth carbon, eleventh carbon. So, keep in the mind that it is a polymer. Since it is a polymer, it only, it not only comprises the eleven carbons here. I am 
mentioning only the 11 on the board, it doesn't mean that only 11 carbons are a part of this uh, polyacetylene, of this conducting polymer. So many carbon atoms are a part of this particular uh, conducting polymer, which is so called as polyacetylene. Now, already I have discussed that this particular polyacetylene is a conjugated molecule. Now, what do you mean by conjugated molecule? The conjugated molecule is the molecule which comprises the alternate double bonds. Which comprises the alternate double bonds means double bond followed by single bond, followed by double bond, followed by single bond, followed by double bond. So, so accordingly, so this is double bond followed by single bond, followed by double bond, followed by single bond, followed by double bond. Followed by single bond, followed by double bond, followed by single bond, followed by double bond. Now, in this manner, so many alternate double bonds are present in the polyacetylene as it is a polymer. Now, already have discussed very clearly that in the double bond, in the double bond, one. So let us say that these are uh, the two bonds. The one is depicted by the blue, uh, sorry, black line. Another bond is depicted by the red. Now let us say that the black one is uh, sigma. Black one is sigma, whereas the red one is uh, pi bond. So I have clearly mentioned that. Uh, the double bond comprises the two bonds. So one is a pi bond, another one is sigma bond. Now among the pi and sigma bond, which is uh, flexible, the pi bond is flexible because already we are well versed that uh, the pi bond is resulted by the lateral overlapping of orbitals. So since the pi bond is uh, resulted by the lateral overlapping of the orbitals, so definitely the pi bond is flexible with respect to the sigma bond. Now since pi bond is flexible with respect to sigma bond, they are not static, they are not static. Now if this polyacetylene is placed in electric field, in electric field, it is placed in electric field. Now what happens is, as already we have discussed that the pi electrons are uh, flexible in nature, they won't be static at that one particular position. Since they are not static at one particular position, they will transfer from one atom to another atom. From one atom to another atom by which all the double bonds will be converted into single bond and all the single bonds will be converted into the double bonds uh, in the polyacetylene molecule whenever it is placed in the electrical field. Now what happens? So these pi electrons will shift to this single bond. This pi bond ship 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 to this single bond. Whenever it is placed in the electrical. Now what happens, students? That is, uh, the electrons are shifting. Electrons are shifting or transferring from one carbon atom to another carbon atom. That is, electrons are moving from one point to another point. Now, what are these electrons? Electrons are the charge carriers. When in the substance, charge carriers are moving from one particular point to another point. So definitely we can say that that substance is conducting the electricity. Now as in the case of polyacetylene due to the presence of flexible pi electrons, as these flexible pi electrons are non-static, they are transferring from one point to another point. They are transferring from one atom to another atom. 
and during their transferring what they will do is they will carry the charge along with them so when they carry the charge along with them and when the charge carriers electrons are transferring from one point to another point thus definitely we can say that this particular polyacetylene is capable of conducting the electricity because what do you mean by electricity the movement of charge carriers from one point to another point and what are what are uh, those moieties what are those species which are moving in the polyacetylene whenever the polyacetylene is placed in the electric field pi electrons are moving and pi electrons are the charge carriers and charge carriers are moving from one point to another point that means it is conducting the electricity so now so in order to get rid of the ambiguity i don't want to confuse you so i will i will take the same uh, 11 carbons 1 2 3 4 5 same 11 carbons so 1 2 3 4 5 so it's just what I'm doing is I'm labeling the carbons so that uh, there should not be any sort of confusion. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, what is happening? So, the pi bond which has been at the first and second carbon, now it has been shifted to second and third carbon. Now, the pi bond, the double bond which was uh, between third and fourth carbon has been shifted to fourth and fifth carbon. Next. The double bond which was between 5th and 6th carbon has been shifted to 6th and 7th carbon. The double bond which was there between 7th and 8th carbon has been shifted to 8th and 9th carbon. The double bond which was there uh, between 9th and 10th carbon has been shifted to 10th and 11th carbon. So it is not losing its conjugation strength. Conjugation is uh, in that fashion only. That is alternate double bonds are also there, now also they are there. Alternate double bonds are there. Just what is happening? The transfer of pi electrons is taking place from one atom to another atom. That's it. That's it. only transfer of electrons. Right. So, same disorder with single bond, followed by double bond, followed by single bond, followed by double bond, followed by single bond, followed by double bond, followed by single bond. So nothing had happened to the molecule. The molecule is intact like that only. But what has been changed? The change is the transfer of electrons, transfer of pi electrons, in fact, from one atom to another atom. Another atom has been occurred whenever the polyacetylene has been placed up in the electric field. That's it. There's no change in the molecules. But there is a change in the transfer of electrons. There is a change in the electrons from one atom to another atom. That is what happened. I hope you understood this concept. So this is how, this is how the conducting polymers are capable of conducting the electricity. So most of the conducting polymers are intrinsic conducting polymers only. They will conduct the electricity due to the presence of a flexible pi bonds. And since whatever the electrons which are associated with these flexible pi bonds are the pi electrons, they will transfer from one point to another point. And during their transfer from one point to another point or from one atom to another atom, they will carry the charge along with them. When they carry the charge along with them, the whole substance will become capable of conducting the electricity. So this is the case with the polyacetylene. This is the case with polyaniline polyfluoro and so on. So this is how, this is how 
uh, the conductivity is attributed to the presence of conjugation in the conducting polymers. That is, the conducting polymers are capable of conducting the electricity due to the conjugation present in them. I hope you understood, students. So, and again, what happens? Again, uh, the delocalization takes place, resulting in the formation of same molecule. So, this exchange will occur. But there won't be any change in the molecule, just there is a transfer of electrons. I hope you understood this. Okay.